Okay folks, Monday evening, quarter to eight. We're losing the light already and I want to do some cooking because tomorrow's a bit of a special day for me. I'll explain more about that later. For now, let's look at the ingredients and I'll tell you what we're going to cook. Similar to a meal I've cooked before, I'm going to do a beef, a beef tomato and onion stew. So it's a beef and tomato flavoured stew with potatoes, carrots, onions and capsicum peppers, um, beef stock cubes and gravy granules. I, I've cut up some potatoes, two different sizes. The smaller ones are intended to dissolve into the, into the liquid and thicken it, add texture. The larger chunks are meant to survive the, the meal, the cooking process and be for eating at the end. Uh, onions and carrots. I got stock cubes. These are um, carne. These are meat, beef. Uh, here we've got uh, beef gravy granules. Um, tomato, tomato frito. I've also got a tin of tomatoes that I may use if if needed. And I got peppers which I don't need this early. Obviously, boiling the potatoes, the carrots, and the onions is going to um, going to take longer. As I said, we're uh, we're losing the light already. And uh, we haven't got too much time. So uh, the water's on already, or some water, it might not be enough, not sure yet. But I'm going to get over there, put in the potatoes, the onions and the carrots, and then the stock cubes, and we'll take it from there. Okay, folks, back to do the potatoes. Tina, quiet. If I have to tell you again, I'm going to be trouble. Okay, potatoes. Ah, almost going in, but some missed. Distracted by dog. See if I can fix that in the edit. <laughs> Obviously not. Okay. However bad it was, potatoes are in. That's Tina Girl. She found some potato on the floor. I wonder how that happened. Um, I don't know if I've got enough hands here, guys. I don't trust this shelf, as you know. This could be a disaster. And even without that collapsing, I've still got the same problem as before of how to tip a full plate up and out. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to use my hand. Give me a second. See if I can show you where we're at. Here's the potatoes, carrots and onions in the in the pan. And you can see how full the pan is already. So there's not room for too much more. But like I said, hopefully those potatoes should break down. Some of them anyway. And uh, we'll take it from there. Let me put the lid on. Knock up the temperature up to full. Lid down. And I'll give it five or ten minutes and then I'll do the stock, stock cubes and the tomatoes. Okay. Here's Tina. Monster that she is. Back shortly, folks. Oh, what fun. My uh, stock cubes perhaps haven't been stored in the best of best of manners. Hopefully they're all right, just um, malformed, misshaped. They're not very cuboid. I'm going to scrape them all onto one and put them all in together. Okay, folks, there's the, uh, the four stock cubes, supposedly. I put onto one piece of paper and I've opened the uh, the tomato frito, the fried tomato carton. I'm going to take those across uh, along with the cloth. I'm going to try and uh, try and get those in now. I might not have enough hands, we'll have to see. There's the monster. Hey Tina, there's a good girl. And here's the oven. It's only just coming up to heat, but we'll get the uh, we we'll got the tomato in it. Quick dunk, just to uh, swill it out. Make sure that we get get as much of the tomato out there as we can. Okay, pretty good. Now the stock cubes. One lump or two.
Yeah. That might. That might prove tricky. Okay. It's all in it. So, onions, carrots, potatoes, stock cube, tin of tomato, and a pile of water. Not that you can pile water, but I'm sure you get the drift. That just leaves the uh, the peppers and the gravy granules. Okay, it's still full, it hasn't got to heat yet, so uh, let's close it up and uh, make sure it's actually on full. And wait for it to get up to heat. Now, I'm going to lose the light tonight, so I'm not expecting to have a fantastic meal out of this tonight. I may grab a bowl, but it won't be as good as it will be tomorrow. But let's go over to the, let's go over to the uh, table and talk about tomorrow. Because I've got decisions to make. Let's have a look. Well, give me a minute, I'll have a quick tidy up. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, so it's half past seven on a Monday night. We're going to lose the light in probably in the next half an hour. Um, probably while the stew's still cooking. But tomorrow, October the 10th, that's the date I arrived in this field last year, on the evening of that day, but that day nonetheless. And it flooded that day. Which brings back all sorts of memories. Because that was the beginning beginning of the end of all of my electronic devices. And I am a I am a bit of a tech head, I am a technology freak. Um, so although I never brought my laptop into this field because that was already broken, I did have a phone, a tablet, an ebook reader. Um, three battery banks, three power banks, um, about 20 pen drives of different sizes, thumb drives, um, 8, 16, 32 and 64 gig if memory serves. Um, I, I had the portable um, solar panels which I still have, fortunately, they still function after some issues. Um, but yeah, that was that was where 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 my slide backwards to kind of the Stone Age was was kind of complete, or well, that's where it began. It, it finished about a month later in the November. But arriving here, you would think that after arriving here and being flooded out on the first night, that I would have gone somewhere else. But I didn't. I had nowhere else to go. I couldn't think of anywhere else. All my things were here. They were all wet through, uh, uh, stinking from horrible flood water. So I had to spend the next week drying things and cleaning things. Um, and by the end of that time, I decided I kind of quite liked this spot. I liked the fact that people were walking past and would talk. I liked the fact that when I was down on the ground, I was invisible. For a lot of a lot of people, didn't know I was here for months. Um, yeah. So tomorrow is tomorrow is a bit of a, you know, an anniversary of arriving here. And I think overall it's been quite good for me this spot. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do to mark the day. But I know that food-wise, I wanted to have a nice big pot of stew ready, and I will probably do Yorkshire puddings to go with it. That's my thoughts at the moment. So we'll see. So tomorrow is also the anniversary, uh, by extension, of me being moved on from the park, where I spent almost two months, well, it was two months, bar a couple of days. I spent two months living in the park. Um, so it's also the anniversary of, of being moved on from there. Um, 
which brings up a lot of feelings and memories. Did a lot of work that day. Five trips backwards and forwards, carrying as much as I possibly could and trying to keep a dog under control while I was doing it. Bringing down all my belongings, plus water that I had uh, collected. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um... Memories. Mixed. Memories and emotions. Good and bad. Enjoyed, enjoyed my time in the park on the whole, in the park, but uh, with hindsight it was kind of killing me. I wasn't eating enough, I had nowhere to cook, not, nothing to do, um, you know, in terms of food prep. I had a tiny bit of money that two ladies gave me and I was eating four slices of bread a day with a bit of um, either chocolate spread or pate, occasionally a um, mortadella, the chopped and shaped sausage thing, but never really more than four or six slices of bread in the day. And that, I think, was when I lost most of my weight. So yeah, interesting to look back on. Might go up to the park tomorrow and uh, look at where I was prior to that. I don't know. Okay guys, I've chopped up some red, green and yellow peppers. I'm going to take the uh, gravy granules over as well. I'm going to go over to the, uh, to the cooker and uh, put in the final ingredients. Let's get that done. Okay guys, we're here. It's bubbling away a bit fiercely. Okay, well, I think we can turn it down safely. I'm gonna mm -hmm. going to try and pour those in without spilling everything everywhere like early. Ah, that's a bit of a fuck up. Okay, how are we gonna fix that, Tina? How are we gonna fix that? Can you see that, folks? My spoon went into the uh, into the pan. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need my hands. Okay, folks. Surprisingly, we're good. <laughs> so now I just want to put a few gravy granules in, two or three, two or three tablespoons. Um, again, I think I need my hands for this. I don't think I can do it and show you, um, unless we can try this. I need to do it right-handed, but I've got one scoop already. So, like so. Okay. Hopefully, together with the caldo, the, uh, the, the stock that was already there, plus the gravy granules, Plus the potatoes as they as they release starches and cook into the water. Hopefully that'll all be nice and flavoursome and uh, and also th able to thicken up. Which we'll see. Let's put the lid back on. I think we'll have to put the heat back up to full for a while. I mean, your ideal now, if you're cooking this at home, you would just simmer it for uh, a couple of hours. Maybe an hour, because it's already been on a while. But uh, that's all the ingredients in. Now it's just a case of waiting for it to cook. Okay, folks, I just want to take a quick look. Hot, hot, hot. But it's turned down as low as it goes. Bubbling away quite fiercely, as you can see, I hope. I've had to put the light on on the on the camera on the phone. We are just losing the light that little bit. But hopefully that starts to thicken up in the next half an hour. I 
can't really give it much more tonight. I can boil it some more tomorrow, maybe. But uh, hopefully I don't have to. We'll see. There's my girl. And somewhere over there in the bush is probably a rodent. I'm about to set the trap. Well, I've set it, I haven't baited it. But I have to keep dinner away from it. Uh, it got set off about three times last night. It's quite possible it's just mice that I'm hearing rather than the big ones. So I might bring a small trap out. But really, I want them inside the tent, not uh, not outside. But the other day, I heard them climbing over this box that's got the dog food in. Well, not climbing over, but they were climbing here around. Maybe they were rustling about these other boxes and tins and things. Jazz. So, yeah. Okay, folks, here we go. Oh, steam, steam, steam. Okay. Yeah, as I suspected, it's not quite as thick as I was aiming for. Maybe tomorrow. Failing that, I can always put an extra batch of potatoes in. But for now, time to rock up some food. First, we'll take that as the uh, as a thumbnail. So it's a beef and tomato flavoured stew with potatoes, carrots, onions, and capsicum peppers. Um, Beef stock cubes and gravy granules. Okay, folks, that's what it looks like. Let's let's get a portion. Play it up in my own peculiar peculiar eating bowl. I don't want too much. It's only a it's only a taster session. Maybe one more from the bottom. I like it, like I said, let me start that sentence again. Like I said, I can always add more tomorrow. And it's also, well, it's not guaranteed, but it's a, it's a thought that I might do Yorkshire puddings again. See whether I can do an improvement on the last batch, which whilst edible, were a bit thick and heavy. Not quite what they should have been. Okay, folks, as usual, I'll take it over to the uh, table. I'll eat this portion and I'll come back and let you know my thoughts. Later. Wow, guys. Um, You won't be able to tell from this picture, <clears throat> but this is my second bowl. <laughs> I went back for more. <clears throat> I finished the first bowl off kind of so quickly, I forgot to even <clears throat> film a reaction. It's lovely. Um, mm. If anything, it could do with more potato. And tomorrow I'll probably add more potatoes and carrots and just boil it up again. Maybe add another um, another carton of tomatoes if I've got any lying around. I've certainly got a tin of tomatoes, so I should be able to do something. But yeah, I'm going to top it up, add some more liquid and then um, pack in some more potato, definitely. But it's lovely, it's fantastic. Um, I'm just going to eat a little bit more, and then I'm going to pass it down to her ladyship here. So yeah, thoroughly recommended. Uh, I'll come back in a second and show you her di um, diving in. Okay, I didn't take that much extra. I want to leave her some. Here you go, sweetheart. Yes, yes. Can you guess? Yes, yes. There you go. I think we can say she likes it. Okay, folks. That was a beef, tomato and onion stew with potatoes, carrots and uh, capsicum peppers. Done with a beef stock and beef gravy granules. And it was delicious. Okay, we'll call it a day there. Um, tomorrow. It's a day. Okay, folks, 
Delta Mike out.